Welcome back to the Vespihan Data Analytics and Visualization Platform. In our previous video, we learned about the types of maps we can use in Vespihan, how they work, and their features. Let's move on. Next up is a map Coropleth. Coropleth is a type of map where we can add our own map bases and create layers. Let's take a closer look. Coropleth shows us areas on a map. For example, it can show continents on a world map, can show subdivisions of continents into countries or cities, regions, districts. Vispihan provides many choices ready-made. In this example, we use the countries of the world base provided to us by Vispihan. Let's create an example together. Open the plugin list, select the Coropleth map from the options on the maps. Coropleth does not use latitude-longitude information to work, which is different from the map types we have met before. It matches with the code information defined in the map base we will use. Each topo JSON can contain different codes. In this example, let's use a base displaying the provinces of Turkey. We will add the code of the province for the code field and the name of the province for the description field. Let's make our selections accordingly. By opening the data window of the map, let's add the data that will be matched with our previous selections. We must add a code, a description, and a value, where the value can be any numeric data that we want to see the value of that city, such as population, number of sales, number of branches, etc. This is how it looks when we run it. All provinces are shown with their names, and we can see the value data we have assigned to these provinces. Let's add another layer, open the configuration menu again, and use add layer to create a second layer in this map. This second layer works like a drill down of the first layer. Let's add data for this layer after making the necessary selections. The order of the map layer must be the same as the order of the data column in the data field. Now when we click on a city, we can see the district's breakdown. By adding as many layers as you want, you can go beyond province and district to neighborhoods or other details. You can also add your own base to the Coropleth map. By clicking on the Edit Maps button on the top right of the configuration window, you can upload a topo JSON from and use this to visualize your data. With this feature, you can also use the zones you use as a map instead of the classic map boundaries. For example, you can visualize sales or authorization zones specific to your company, departmental zones specific to your organization, agricultural lands or residential areas on the map. One of the types of maps you can get with Vispahin is the route map, where you can show the relationship between two different points on the map and indicate direction and value. In order to use the route map, there must be data of the source and destination points. In the sample data set we have, there are source provinces, their plate codes, latitude and longitude information, and the same information for the destination provinces. The value information in this example is the number of passengers departing from the airports of these provinces. Once we drag and drop data into the data area of the map, the map runs and immediately draws arrows between sources and destinations. While sources are represented by dots on the map, the destinations are represented by arrowheads. By clicking on the province you want, you can observe the source target relationships for that province. The display of the map can be changed with the theme options. The last type of map currently available in Vispahen is the Turkey map. This map, like the Koropleth map, works with code and name information and shows the values on the provinces. Also, it can be used as a filter by turning on the interaction feature to select and examine the desired provinces with multi-selection. There are theme options and the selection color can be changed. Turkey map and Coropleth map can be converted to each other. Vispian.